Well, hello everybody. I just want to make a, a quick video on something that I'm happen to be doing today. So I thought I'd pull out the camera real quick. Uh, it's not really about uh, how to trap animals exactly, but in a way that it is. I'm on my way of getting ready to go to Texas. We run a lot of 220s down there in that fence line for the, the bobcats and badgers, raccoons, stuff like that. So I'm getting them ready for that. And what I'm doing is spray painting them. For a couple of reasons, which I'm going to show you, and then tomorrow it's supposed to be, we got a big warm front coming through, and I'm going to dip a bunch of them in all of them in Full Metal Jacket, let them dry, then I'm going to go down there and just waylay some bobcats, badgers, coons, and coyotes in them. But I want to show you what I'm doing here. When you, if you're going to paint your conibears, don't get wrapped up in uh, making sure they're perfect. You're just trying to break those traps out, and if you do this, you'll be amazed at how much less theft and how many more animals you catch because they will blend into your environment a black trap a conibear or a dark brown trap that's a conibear or body grip does not blend in and what i'm doing doesn't take that long i've done about i've probably done about 22 dozen today and uh i've doing what i'm doing since lunch and it's about four o'clock right now so what i'm doing is not taking a lot of time but it'll make a big difference on my catch when i get down to texas and then if I want to take these out for raccoon, dry land trapping somewhere next year, I want to have to fool with them again next year. It'll be a couple of years before I even got to touch them. So what I'm doing is painting them. The first coat that I put on my traps is just a gray primer. Uh, nothing special really. It's a Krylon gray primer. And, and I really coat them more with this than I do anything else. Here's some of the other. Those are 220s. 220s, 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 getting them ready uh, for Texas down in there. And like I said, we run a bunch of traps, we go down there. But the reason I want to show you this is most people will have a trap that looks like this. And this has just been dyed. Um, I haven't used these in several years. And so when I know they're going to be setting up for a while, I just, just put them in logwood dye and I can boil a bunch of them in a hurry. But look, now these traps are painted, as you can see, with just Krylon camouflaged. I first do it in the, the gray primer, then the camouflaged green, which is OD green, and then the brown that you see in the middle of the screen. Now the other conibear in those natural color, look how that thing stands out. Now, if you're having a bunch of theft problems or whatever on your line, that could be part of the reason. Another thing is, if an animal's going down a trail and he's not really paying attention, he's going to really get a hold of that because it stands out. It's not natural. There's nothing black. Just because it's night, it doesn't matter. By spray painting these this way, it gives me a way to break these traps out. So it doesn't look like a solid square when I'm going to put these. You can see all the different colors, which it's just three really. Just the gray, the OD green, and the brown, but it makes a big difference on the catch. Now for your beaver trappers, this is the way I always do my cotton bears for that too, but I don't dip them in full metal jacket because the full metal jacket is not meant to do that. Now you'll notice I've got these traps stacked up three, four high. I'm using the overspray to hit the traps. I'm not worried about covering every square inch of this trap. I'm just trying to get enough fuzz and overcoat and stuff like that to break the outline of that trap. If you're going to be dry land coon trapping, auto trapping, anything like that, if you want to have a up in your catch, this is a simple way you can do it before season without changing your style of trapping and you'll definitely catch more fur. As you can see, I'm not really paying much attention. I just want to break these, these traps outlines out. That's all that I'm doing. Don't make this any more complicated as you need to be, but it is one of those things that uh, catches you more fur. Okay, I've got that coat 
on there. It's just all different colors, no rhyme or reason. I'm going to flip these over, do the same thing again, set these out to dry, dip them in full metal jacket tomorrow. If I was going to be setting these in water using 280s, like I said, leave the full metal jacket off. But uh, if you do it this way and you spray paint them with good coats, use the full metal jacket. You may have to only do this every two, three, four years. That's how tough this stuff will stay on this way.